Yo, what is going on guys? It is Maruzu Kage back at it again with another Alive Reaction for you guys. In today's video, it's a very special video because today is the finale of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Golden Wind. Uh, we actually have two back-to-back -back episodes for the finale, episodes 38 and 39 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So I'm really excited for this, and I know I haven't really been posting any JoJo content on the channel. Uh, lately, I did end up uh, coming out with a few reviews in the past for uh, Part 5 uh, when it was first starting to air, but then I kind of dwindled out of that um but hey you know what today's the final uh excuse me the finale of jojo's bizarre adventure so i mean we might as well go ahead and celebrate by reacting to the last two episodes because we have no idea when we're actually going to be getting part six and uh i am considering doing more content for jojo in the future so stay on the lookout for that but it anyways we're going to go ahead and get this started. So we're first going to start off with episode 38 of JoJo, and then we're going to dive into episode 39. So without further ado, please enjoy. Yo, everybody's here besides Giorno. Because in the previous episode, uh, Diavolo was going through that infinite time loop. <laughs> Yo, da, 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 yo, let's go. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> yo, damn. He's just continuing attacking him, man. He can't escape this. I wonder if there's anything new in this OP. Oh, wait, no, no. There is, there's an infinite time loop. Oh, shit, that is new. Oh, yo, JoJo straight up look like Dio. Or... Giorno, I said Jojo. <laughs> yo, yo! Yo! That look hype. That look hype. All right, here we go. Golden Wind Requiem. Yeah, where did, where did Diavolo go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, wait, what is that? All right, so he was hanging on to that. Barely still alive. This man bleeding out. <laughs> How is this man still alive? <laughs> How is this man still alive after being hit in that infinite time loop? That that's the thing about the previous episode. They didn't really elaborate too much on Golden Requiem. But maybe they'll do it in this episode. What the heck is that? Oh! I'm not gonna let you snatch my precious. Somebody living in the sewers? Ooh. They took something. Yeah, you're bleeding out, my guy. <laughs> yeah, you've been stabbed. Yeah. Is this how Diavolo meets his end? Being stabbed by a hobo? Yo, this is some creepy... Oh! Wait, whoa, time just, like, I don't know, did something. Yo, he looks pale, why am I sleeping on a bed? Yo, does he see his own corpse or something? What the heck? Does she not realize that his eyes are open? Yeah, he said death, to determine his cause of death. Yeah, so he is legit living in his own, like, moment of death, essentially. Like, to them... He, he's definitely, he, he's like, he's done, <laughs> you know, but he can still talk and see. He can't move. And he can actually feel this, too. Ooh. Yo! What? Yo! Whoa. Dude, what, what is going on with the time? He keeps, like, okay, like, he basically saw his death right there. Now, he reverted... Oh, wait, he, someone's speaking to him this time. <laughs> the dog knows he is bad news. Oh, oh my. Yo, he's seen countless versions of his death. Golden Wind Requiems. Yo. He'll never even arrive at the truth behind his death. So he's basically living in a countless loop of possible deaths that he will encounter. And he's living every single moment of this. That is crazy. 
This is probably the most OP ability in JoJo <laughs> that we have seen so far. Dude, Jorno knows he's gone, man. Fate is a sleeping sleep. Bro. You got three of the members that die. Don't do that to me, man. Reverting to, like, a past encounter with everyone here. Abakio's here, Narancha. Yeah. This seems like very pointless talk. <laughs> They're just talking about food <laughs> to fill the episode, but I wonder if this is, like, gonna somewhat... His dead body was just discovered. Okay, hold on. Wait, is this all before they met Giorno? This may be of before they met Giorno. There's actually a light novel about what happened to F Fugo, the guy, the guys who left, or the guy who left. Yeah, um, they they need to come out with that then. They need to translate that because I'll definitely pick that novel up. You'll end up in a far deeper depth to the organization than you can even imagine. Jesus. Wait. What? Dude, this is messed up. This is messed up. I want you to avenge my daughter. Jeez, look at all that money. I don't know. Someone, someone committing suicide, holding a, a huge ball, plunging to their death. I mean, yeah, someone's definitely behind that. <laughs> Yo, look at Bucciati. Look, you can even see the 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 particles of like dust and stuff like shining on them <laughs> like from the light and stuff oh bad luck a stone wait the stone appeared here hold up whoa kill me wait what where hold on where did that come from though bro <laughs> what oh bro Yo, what is up with this rock following this man? <laughs> Bad luck. He's giving missed a... Uh, uh. Oh, what is... Bro. Yo, what is this? What is this, man? This is eerie. It's like this rock that's just following Mista out of nowhere. Yo, a sense of paranoia has overcome Mista. Uh, yeah, I think someone should go with Mista. Oh, okay, but Jarty's actually gonna be with him. Okay, so that's good. Leaky Eye Luca. Yeah, this is like directly from like the very beginning, like before they met Giorno. It was a rock, isn't it? Bro, what is this rock? There's a rock that constantly is following him, man. Yo. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Okay, so here we go. Are you the sculptor? Yo. Yeah, this ain't Diavolo. <laughs> this is someone completely different. <laughs> what is the deal with Bucciarti right there? Mista used to be. Ooh. I'm still trying to understand. I don't know. I, I sense some danger coming ahead. He's following Bucciarti. And Bucciarti is like... Took the image of the stone. Or the stone took the image of Bucciarti. Bucciarti. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Whoa, the stone is gone. What happened? Yo, what is going on, bro? <laughs> Wait, was it him? Was it the image of seeing Bucharti die? Which is what we revert to now in the future? The fate of Bucharti. Prophecy stones. Whoa. So his ability necessarily makes a stone take the image of the fate of a certain person? Because Bucharti did die, so... This is how you use destiny, bro. Bro, Mista, chill. When his daughter died, her organs were preserved. He'll receive them as transplant. Oh, she understood that and believed it. She accepted her fate. So she, she intentionally committed suicide. Yo, that bullet was a dud. Yo, so he is literally able to see into the future. He could see the fate of individuals. That is that is crazy. I don't know, man. I think he's like he, he he's serving as a warning for Bucciarti's fate, bro. I don't know, man. Yo, we're already in the halfway point, dude. Bad luck, Standmaster. Scolipi, Scolipi. We must protect number five. He's the most precious thing in the world. <laughs> number five. Yeah, he yeah. So he's essentially 
being, he, he's serving as a warning for Bucharti. The Rock is on the stairs too. Yo, Bucharti sees himself though. Yo, tell him not to touch the Rock, bro. Oh, he's gonna touch it. Oh no, oh no. Yo, yo, look how, woo. Do not touch that Rock, bro. It's still showing Bucharti, bro. You can't escape fate. And it's bleeding. It's like melting out. What the hell? It's like it's alive. What the? Yo, it is legit alive. It's legit following him, bro. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yo, it's coming back. Yo, it's up top. It's up top. Don't let it fall on you. Don't let it touch you. Oh, he hit it just in time. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yo, yo, the same instance is happening to the girl that happened to Miss. Oh, wait, wait, or uh, the same instance is happening to Miss that happened to the girl. He's bludgeoned to his death. Well, if this happened before, we know that Mista survives. Oh, oh, that was Fugo's call. Okay, yeah, he was the suspect, but not exactly the suspect, right? Exactly, yeah. It was technically suicide because she initially actually committed it herself, so. Oh, bro. We're all slaves to fate. Bro, it showed Narancha, Abakio, and Bucharti, bro. Appeared near my feet. No. No. Prophecy Stone. Whoa! What? Trish is right there, Mista. Huh? She is the rock. On there if. Okay, that was weird. Well, didn't his body die? Yeah, yeah. My body's dead. But the moment my soul got stuck out, sucked out, I was able to hang on to her for a while as a ghost inside the turtle. <laughs> I don't think I actually might smell weird. Yo, is this gonna develop some type of relationship between the two of them? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Yo, those who carry on the will, those who have passed must keep moving forward. I won't destroy the arrow. Yeah, Jordan's hair definitely seemed like it's gotten longer, bro. <laughs> Dang. Oh, and there's the prophecy stone. Has that always been there in the ED? Okay, so I wonder if anything's gonna be at the end. There is a post credit scene though, okay? Oh, this is from the OP. This is like the very beginning of the OP. The gate, oh, oh, wait, what is this? Is that school EP? What? Mista? Yo! Yo! Oh shit! Yo! Yo! Part five. Been yo! Okay! Okay! Yeah! All right. Okay, yo, so that post credit scene right there where Giorno, Giorno basically, he, he, be, he becomes a leader now, yo. And, ah, oh, man, just the color changes too. Like, he, he, that, that, that's, that color change right there with Giorno and black, Mista and like purple now. Like, yo, that was crazy. That was crazy. With these two episodes, it, it, it was basically kind of like before they met Giorno. Like, this is proceeding all the way back to, like, the very beginning. Before they met Giorno and how, basically, we learned about the fate of Bucciarti and the rest of the members, you know? And then when we go back to that, it, it, it really sucks to see that all this was due to fate. You know what I mean? And... And if anything, Bucciarti kind of escaped fate multiple times throughout the series, if you really think about it. He escaped his death. Um, un unfortunately, he did end up passing away, though. And the same could be said with Abakio and Nanancha. But dang, man, it, it was kind of... It, it was cool to see that. It, it was cool to see that. Yeah, guys, let me know what you thought about this um, uh, finale of JoJo. Episodes 38 and 39 of JoJo. I really enjoyed it, and... 
honestly, I I'm really excited for part six, um, whenever we might eventually get that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought about the finale of JoJo. Um, it would be really cool to actually get more um, uh, JoJo people in the, the discussions and whatnot. And uh, hopefully when part six comes around, um, maybe I might do reactions. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this uh, reaction video to the finale of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5. How'd you feel about the ending? Let me know your thoughts and uh, like the video if you enjoyed. And with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.